Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the complete block diagram of pulse radar system. So, pulse radar system. It is the first and first radar system where the pulse waveforms are being used to detect the object. I already told you how the pulse waveforms are helping us to detect the object. So, pulse is having very shortest duration in terms of microsecond uh, among the period of 1 millisecond. 1 microsecond acting as the on period and the remaining entire thing is off period. Okay. So, duty cycle is very, very, very less 0 0.001 only so that the target the just waveform is going and hits the target and coming back the remaining entire period it waits for the uh, received echo signal now the first block diagram of this radar system in this we are going to discuss is a pulse radar system this is the complete block diagram of the pulse radar system i told you already in the basic principle of a radar system what are the main blocks involved in the radar system any type of radar system what are the main blocks involved a transmitting section a receiving section and an antenna here it is object object is optional okay so we need a transmitter we need a receiver and we need an antenna okay so transmitter may be different depending upon the type of signal that is being radiated into the free space to detect the object okay i already told you i am repeating because if you remember the sections involved in the tra transmitter what is the type of the transmitter then you can easily understand what type of uh, sections we have to include okay so in the pulse radar system in the pulse radar system the pulse modulated signal is being transmitted in the continuous wave radar system, CW radar system is nothing but a continuous wave radar system. What type of signal we are transmitting? A continuous wave. Is there any need of modulation? No. What type of signals we need? Only a carrier signal, a continuous wave signal with high frequency that is being generated. So, a continuous wave generator we need. That's it. And amplifying it and sending it. Okay, let us consider an FMCW radar where FMCW radar is nothing but frequency modulated continuous wave radar. Nothing but we need a CW transmitter as well as frequency modulated signal also. So, so that FMCW signal will be there, that signal will be transmitted. That means depending upon the type of signal we are transmitting, the names are being given like pulse radar. CW radar, FMCW radar, like that, the different classifications of radar systems have been done based on the type of the waveform it is emitting. Okay, so in the case of pulse radar system, I already told you pulse waveforms are going to be transmitted. So, pulse is nothing but a very shortest on period and remaining off period. In this particular period, we are waiting for the echo signals to receive. Okay, so for the pulse signal to be modulated what are the different sections we need to use a pulse generator we need a modulator we need an amplifier we need okay so here it is the pulse modulator where pulse signal is going to be generated pulse signal is generated and waveform generator is nothing but a continuous wave signal generator Okay, for any modulation, where there are two signals needed. One is a modulation signal, modulating signal, another one is the carrier signal. Here, the a waveform generator acts like a carrier signal. The waveform generator acts like a carrier signal where they, it is having very high frequency signal. And pulse modulator is nothing but it is a pulse generator. These two, this pulse modulated signal and the pulse signal and this CW signal, these two are multiplied or nothing but amplified, modulated together and given to power amplifier. What is the purpose of power amplifier? Power amplifier will increase the strength of the gain of the signal in such a way that it goes to very long distance. Because what is the range of uh, transmitted peak power? It is in the, in the order of 1 megawatt megawatts of power so that much of megawatts of power can be originated by using uh, can be transmitted or amplified by using this power amplifiers okay very high power amplifiers we are using so because of that high power amplifiers the signal is being amplified and then transmitted to the 
free space. I already told you what is the importance of duplexer. I told you already in the previous videos, duplex is nothing but it is a device which is used to separate the transmitting and receiving signals. During transmission, this, this signal will be going only in this direction towards the antenna and the signal will not go in this direction. Okay, the transmitted signal only radiated into the free space through the antenna. It will not enter into the receiver. Whereas the received signal similarly the ant from the antenna that will be going towards the duplexer and it will not enter into the transmitting section. So there is no connection between transmitter and receiver by using the component called duplexer. Suppose this duplexer is not there, I already told you what happens. These two are having in direct contact. So high power signal when it goes into the free space through the antenna, the same signal may, enter, may also enter into the receiving section. So to avoid that, we are using a duplexer. So this one is completely a transmitter. Now, this is transmitter. Okay. And coming to this point, in the receiver, all the sections what we have here, all the sections are comprisingly known as receiver okay see the basic principle now we need a transmitter and a receiver and antenna so this is the transmitting section this is the transmitting section and this is the receiving section and this is the antenna so this is what the basic principle of radar system is telling us okay coming to the reception during reception what happens during reception the signal will be first entering into the duplexer. What is the purpose of duplexer? Duplexer is used to separate the transmitting and receiving signal. So the received signal will not enter into the high power amplifier or transmitter. So the received signal first passes through a low noise RF amplifier. Low noise RF amplifier. So I, I, I told you what is the amount of received signal strength. It is in the order of minus 12 watts. Minus 12 watts very 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 weak echo signal we are receiving so that much of weak echo signal should not be affected by any noisy components and should be amplified okay so immediately uh, once the signal is received and processed towards the receiver immediately the first and foremost thing will be a amplifier it should be amplified it should be amplified so that it is a low noise rf amplifier that means any other noises should not occur because of this low noise RF amplifier that's why it is low noise RF amplifier this RF signal first given to a mixer mixer is a device which uh, mixes the local oscillator signal frequency with the received signal frequency these two are mixed together and produces an IF signal intermediate frequency signal so mixer will convert the RF signal to IF signal RF signal to IF signal intermediate frequency signal so this IF signal can also be acting as a matched filter the IF amplifier can also be acting as a matched filter. The output of this IF amplifier is given to second detector or demodulator. Second detector or demodulator. So the second detector or demodulator is used to eliminate the carrier signal which has been added in the transmitting section. Okay, that's why what is the amount of frequency we should know. So we have a contact like this. We have a contact like this. So that we can know, we could know what is the amount of uh, signal that has to be eliminated. So second detector is used to uh, eliminate the carrier signal that has been added in the transmitting section. Okay, second detector or demodulator, it is the opposite action for the modulation, demodulator. The output of this one is given to a video amplifier. VDA amplifier, VDA amplifier is a device where we can bring the signal towards the uh, visualization nothing but we can just bring that signal to get visualize <clears throat> so the output of this video amplifier is given to thresholdation and then output so thresholdation is a decision where we can identify which is the 
moving target and which is the stationary target or we can also simply say which is the required target and which is unnecessary target suppose in the free environment when we are transmitting the signals there are several objects like trees birds mountains hills among all these a few may reply a few may react and say, uh, collected by the the reflected signal can be collected by the antenna okay but we actually do not need any such uh, signals like uh, free trees mountains and so on among all of uh, in between all of them one bird may be there or any enemy vehicle is there that uh, type of information we need okay so for that we need a decision making device called a threshold decision device okay so this is what the block diagram explanation the output of this one can be displayed on any a scope display, B scope display, C scope display, like that we have, and or it can also be, we can also display such waveform on the PPI display. PPI is nothing but planned position indicator. PPI is nothing but planned position indicator. So we can use either PPI display or in general, we commonly we can use any A scope display. So PPI display, how it is generally have, oh, works. This is the way how the PPI works. Whenever any object is identified at a particular position, simply there it shows some blink. Observe this position. So, this is the place where we have one enemy's target. So, these are the concentric circles which are used to identify position. Suppose the, uh, this is the place of our radar system and at a particular distance like 5 kilometers, this is the distance and at 10 kilometers, this is the concentric circle and it is at let it be 100 kilometers so at each and every concentric circle is used to identify a particular distance from the radar system center okay so in the ppi display the points which are appearing on the screen here those are called known as blips those are known as blips blips are nothing but a mark identified on the screen those marks are nothing but positions of any human beings or missiles or anything okay Along with this PPI display, PPI display is nothing but a circular display. PPI display, we are also using an A scope display. A scope display, these two are most commonly used display units. <coughs> okay, uh, we also have A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. We have A to P scope displays, but we are not using all of them together we may use a PP, a ppi display or a scope display okay this is what the block diagram of radar system thank you